Hey guys, it's Alessandra and today I want to talk to you guys about buying cheap bikinis because I see all these people out here saying like, oh my gosh, this bikini is so cheap, only like $29.99 or even like only $19.99. It's like, I don't consider that to be super cheap for bikini. I mean, obviously like that's a pretty fair price. But if you're making a video saying like where I buy my cheap bikinis and people are spending like $20 on a bikini, I feel like that's more in a normal price range than in a cheap price range. Obviously that's on the lower end of it. Because if we're talking like Zaffle, which after shipping, you know, is $20, $25, compared to like Victoria's Secret, which is about $60 to $100-ish, then that's a really good price. But I'm out here wanting to buy cheap bikinis. I want to spend like less than $5 on a bikini. And so today I'm going to show you guys the stores that I go to to buy bikinis for literally like two dollars a piece because I'm out here wanting to have a new bikini for like every time that I go somewhere like every insta pic I take I want a different bikini I want to switch it up some I don't want my entire feed to be filled up with bikini pics in the same bikini and since it's summer I know that you guys are probably doing a ton of water stuff like I am like you see this tan right now no this is not my spray tan I actually went on a boat yesterday and well the spray tan disappeared but I have a real one now <laughs> And I want you guys to also stick around until the end where I'm going to tell you where you can actually buy bikinis like the ones that you see on Zaffle or these here for the same price. I'm talking 5 to $10 including shipping for these bikinis. But right now I'm going to get into the two stores that I go to so that I can pick up bikinis for $2, $3, prices like that. So all of these bikini tops in my hand combined I bought for less than $10. And so I'm going to be going through each one, trying them on for you guys, and telling you where I got them from. So I bought all of these from one store and then this one from a different one. So I'll start out with the just one bikini. And I actually got this top from Goodwill. So this is the first bikini top. Now I'm telling you guys, Goodwill actually pops off with their bikinis. I saw this one piece there, it wasn't my size, but it was like a black one that had the little thing that like the stomachs opened up, you know the super really popular one on Instagram right now that make people look super thick. And it was literally $3. Same price as this top, which I got for $3. It is originally from Old Navy and as you can see it is so cute. I'm pretty sure that my friend actually has the exact same one to be completely honest. But I saw it and I was like this is nothing like anything else I have because it's kind of like really preppy and I don't have a lot of preppy bikinis, I mostly have like plain things. So I thought I should try it on, test it out, see if I liked it and I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is the first top, this is the first store that I recommend. Goodwill, I went in there, there's so many bikinis, especially now, I'm telling you, people donate new stuff to the store every single day. Like, you can go in any day and there's always new stuff. The thing about going to a store like Goodwill, though, is that you need to take your time to look through things. I buy a lot of clothes there, specifically a lot of skirts and dresses, but you just need to make sure that you take the time to go through everything, try on everything, and just make sure things fit. Because if you're looking and you find about 20 items, then you're probably gonna like the fit of about 5 of them. And things at Goodwill are so cheap, like you can buy tops like this for $3, shirts are like $4, a lot of skirts I picked up were also like $4, so buying, you know, 5 items, $4, you're spending $20 on getting 5 things rather than just one top. Now I'm going to move on to the next store that I went shopping at. This bikini is from Victoria's Secret, but I did not buy it at Victoria's Secret because their bikinis are super overpriced like I was talking about earlier. You can buy a set there for like $60 to $100, which you know we're not doing. This top I got for $2.99 at the Salvation Army. I literally walked in, they had the bikinis right up front, I looked at the section and I was like, I see so many things that I like. I picked up these three pieces, my friend Hannah picked up three or four pieces, and they were all so cheap. This was only $2.99 from Victoria's Secret in my size in a cute color that I really like and it fits me really nice as you can see and it's not like the bikinis from here are you know super disgusting tattered up as you might be thinking like they're in good condition these stores have to be putting out clothes that are in good condition in order to resell them so the things that you're buying aren't things that are like ripped or stained or anything like that like they are actual good clothes and I'd really recommend going to Salvation Army and Goodwill because that's where I'm getting these bikinis from. Their stuff is just so inexpensive and when you look through it, you can find some really cute pieces. This next one I got is so tropical, bro. And you guys know I love tropical vibes, but it's just super cute. It has these little hibiscus flowers. I think they're called hibiscus flowers. And it's a different kind of style than things that I usually get. It kind of has this like curved up thing. I don't know, obviously you can see what I'm talking about. But I really like it. I like that it's different. I like that it was cheap. Once again, only $2.99 for this. It fits me, it's not stained, it's not messed up, it's not ripped. It's just a really cute piece that I got and I absolutely love it. I love how tropical it is, I love how summery it is. Now this final piece I got is probably one of my favorites. It was only $1.99 from the Salvation Army. It's literally one of my favorite prints right now. It is so in style, it is so Instagrammable, it is so cute. 
And this top was only $1.99. This one does have a little bit of a stain like right here, but I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is just like wash it a lot and try to get it out. And if not, then honestly, I don't really care because everything else about this bikini is absolutely in perfect condition. And plus in general, like I really just love this print. I saw it and I was like, I need to get it regardless of how expensive it is. And it was so cheap and I was just like, I, I need to do it. <laughs> I really just love the look of this. I love the basic triangle bikini top, but it's a cute print, it's a cute color, it looks nice on. And I really just love everything about this top. So yeah, those are the two like physical actual stores that I go to in order to buy really cute, really cheap bikinis. But the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this app that I use in order to get them. No, this is not like sponsored or anything, I promise. It's like a real thing. But I use them for bikinis all the time and they're actually so reliable and it's AliExpress. Now, I know that you're like kind of sus, like isn't this like some weird company that sends cheap clothes? But the thing is that they're actually not. The clothes that they send can actually be super great and they're so affordable. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna search bikini, already in my search history. And you can already see they have some cheap stuff. This one right here is only $6 and their shipping is crazy. For this one, it is $1.26 and no, that doesn't mean it's gonna get to you in three months like a bunch of people say. It'll take two weeks. That's the same amount of time that buying something online and shipping it to your house will take. But this is literally a fraction of the cost. And if you scroll down, you can actually see feedback on the products. So you know that it is real good products that actually fit people who buy them. You can see how they're made, how they fit people, the kind of sizing that you should get, you know, if it's like a little big or a little small. And for that reason, I absolutely love ordering things on this app. And it's not just bikinis, it's like real close too. I think I might do a video where I buy a bunch of stuff on here, everything under $5 and then do try on haul for you. So if you want that, then leave a comment down below and like this video and make sure you subscribe so you can see that. Clicking the little bell to get notified, of course, whenever I post. But I'm gonna go in here and just filter this so that the max price is $5 to show you guys that there is so many cheap bikinis on here. Literally something for $2.66 comes up. I'm gonna go over to this one that's $4 because I think this is really cute. This little striped bikini looks super nice. I'm gonna go down, see the feedback. You can already tell, like, there are people who have purchased this item. There are people who are telling you that it's a good product. They're real people, just like me, just like you. They're posting their review pictures, showing you, you know, what the sizing looks like, how it looks on. And on that feedback, you can even see how many stars out of five people rate it. I really just love this. I'll be scrolling through a little bit for you guys while I talk so you can just, you know, see the products. But there's so many cheap, affordable items that I really just love. And the thing is, guys, if you're buying from an online store like Zaffle, they're buying their products from this company. They're just the middleman. They're just a drop shipping company. A ton of Instagram stores that you guys are shopping on, ones that are charging so much money for their products are just buying them from here and shipping them to you and making a profit off of you. They're not doing anything. They're not making the products. They're not even packaging the products in most cases. I know in Zaffle's case, like I think they do. Maybe, I haven't ordered from them in a while. But a lot of people literally just buy the product from here and set the shipping address as your address and let it send off to you. And that's how people are making money. But you can take the middleman out of the equation. You can buy straight from the dealer. <laughs> that sounds like some kind of weird drug thing. It's not, but. <laughs> if you buy directly from a site like AliExpress, then you can get the lowest prices with the same product that you would be overpaying for if you're buying it through a website. So I would recommend checking out this app. Make sure though, whenever you buy a product that you're looking through the reviews to see if you know the thing runs small, runs large, how it fits on a person. Don't just go in, see something you like, and buy it automatically because there might be some kind of a sizing problem. Like I said, just make sure you check out the feedback, make sure everything looks good. And with that being said, I just want you guys to have the cutest bikinis possible because as you know, if you've checked out my Instagram, which I'll leave in the description, light plug. <laughs> I'm always in a bikini, I'm always doing stuff in the water, I'm always taking boat pictures, and it is so hard to be able to afford that. If you want to have new bikinis every time that you go out on the water, if you want to be like a travel model kind of niche Instagram and you want to be taking pictures of bikinis all the time, it is super unaffordable. You can't go out and buy a new bikini every time that you want to take a picture if the bikini is 40, 60, 100 dollars. But if you're buying things for $5, $4, $3, or $2 like I'm showing you here, then it's definitely something that you can do. With that being said, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below some other places where you guys buy cute bikinis and I will check them out. And subscribe for new videos every single week. Like I said, if you guys want to see it, I'll do one of those AliExpress hauls where I just buy a lot of clothing products from them. I think what I actually want to do is find Instagram stores, see the products on there, and buy them off AliExpress instead so that I show you guys how much money you'll be saving by shopping with AliExpress. So make sure you also turn my post notifications on so you can be alerted when I drop that video if you guys want me to film something like that. And with that being said, I will see you guys next time.